All right, so we want to derive this equation using first principles. It's also called definition of derivative. So our equation is lim h approaches zero x plus h or f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So we have to start by replacing x with x plus h or f of x plus h in this equation. So I'm going to have lim h approaches zero, x plus h cube minus six x plus h. So that's f of x plus h. Then I want to subtract f of x, which is the original function. And when you do this, make sure to put it inside a bracket. And we're going to divide by h. So for any simple algebraic expression, we just have to simplify the top, combine like terms, and then simplify even further. So I want to expand out x plus h plus x plus h cubed. So I'm going to do that on the side just because it's a bit easier. So that's x plus h times x plus h times x plus h. I'm going to foil out these two brackets first. So x plus h times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. I'm going to multiply out these two brackets. That's x cubed plus 2x squared h plus xh squared plus x squared h plus 2xh squared plus h cubed. Then I'll combine like terms and I'm going to write it over here when I combine like terms. So lim h approaches zero. I have x cubed, 2x square h plus x square h is just 3x square h. x h square plus 2x h square is 3x h square. And then I have a plus h cube at the end. So that's this bracket here. I'm going to expand this negative six into this bracket. So I'll get minus six X minus six H. Then I'll expand this negative into this bracket. So I'll get minus X cubed plus six X divided by H. I will combine like terms over here. X cubed, negative X cubed, just cancel off. 3x square h has nothing to combine with. This has nothing to combine with. h cube also has nothing to combine with. In cancel of this and this, they're the same but opposite signs. So I'm left with 3x square h plus 3x h square plus h cube minus 6h all divided by h. The next thing you want to do is just factor an h out from the top. Lim a x h approaches zero h three x square plus three x h plus h square minus six divided by h and then this h and this h can cancel off and then you can just sub in zero for h once you do the cancellation that's when you can sub in your limit for h and you'll get your final solution. If I sub in zero here, this thing turns to zero, so does this. So I'm just left with 3x squared minus 6, which is the derivative of the original function.